Hey everyone, my name is Joseph. Today we're going to be looking at an animal cell. I've been working on this project for a while, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. I've got my shrink ray here, which is going to allow us to observe the animal cell a lot more clearly. So without further ado, let's get going. Here we are. All these animal cells floating around. You can tell they're animal cells because of their shape. Most plant cells are rectangular. This is the cell membrane. It is a selectively permeable boundary, which means it can choose what comes and goes from the cell. Now that we're actually inside the cell, we can get a better look at all the different types of pieces, like the ribosomes, chromosomes, lysosomes, and all that good stuff. These little guys are called ribosomes. What they basically do is create protein throughout the cell. This is a mitochondrion. It's the site of energy, metabolism synthesis. It has high energy ATP. This is the nucleus. It's the storage site of genetic information. It has DNA and also changes it to RNA. Inside the nucleus is the nucleolus. It produces ribosomes. This is a vacuole. It stores materials for the cell and water. These are lysosomes. They break up used organelles and house digestive enzymes. These are the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulums. They are the transport systems for liquids and nutrients in the cell. Lastly, we have the Golgi apparatus. It's responsible for getting rid of the waste products of the cell. Thanks a lot for coming to see this. I really appreciate it. Bye.